Hello, Year 4. Today in reading, you're going to infer the mood of a character based on a text. So first off, I'd like you to think what reading strategies can you remember to help us infer. So think about what the word infer means and then see if you can remember how we're going to achieve that aim. So pause the video, have a think on that for me. Some of the strategies that we can use to infer include the ability to predict. So thinking about something that's going to happen in the future, a consequence of something. Next, you need to think like a detective. You need to be able to use your Sherlock Holmes brain and pick apart this piece of text and think what's in between the lines. What is there that isn't just told to you directly? You also need to be able to form opinions about a text. What do you know based on your own knowledge about how a person acts or how they talk and what they actually mean when they do this? The other point I'm going to reference today is referring to the text. That's going to be really important. So we're looking at Sky Song. We're looking specifically at Chapter 2. We're looking specifically at the character of Flint today. So you need to be able to refer to the text. What do we know about this character? Pause the video for me, listen to chapter two, uh, continuing on from yesterday, and get up to the part where it says, the guards were still out on the tundra. And then we can use that to build up on this uh, mood chart here. So pause the video for me, give that a listen. Today, you're gonna be using something called a mood chart. So here we have three emotions. We have a kind of calm, here, and then the nervous, and then terrified. So I'm going to show you how we're going to use this. So first thing you need to do is look through these sentences here at the bottom. And this is going to be our indicator of how Flint is feeling. So what we need to do is we need to bridge these emotions and see how Flint is feeling in each step. So our first sentence here is Winterfang. There's no turning back now. So my starting emotion for Flint is going to be one of calm here. What I now need to do is I need to be able to draw a line up to about this box here. Because these two are all going to flow into the rest of them. So it's Winterfang. There's no turning back. So I know that Flint here is calm. How nervous do I think he is? I think he's a bit nervous, but I don't think he's fully nervous here. So I'm going to put him about here. Next, there was a tremble in his voice and his eyes flitted with nerves. So I'm going to say he's absolutely not calm here, so he needs to move right up. So I'm going to say he's a bit more than nervous here. I'm going to say he's going towards terrified. I'm going to say his emotions are rocketing up here. And then Flint swallowed as he took in the jungle of gigantic icicles. So if you swallow, it's normally because you're really, really, really nervous. So I'm thinking here, Flint's probably reaching about peak fear here. What I'd like you to do is think about the rest of the emotions from the sentences that follow. So your sheets will look like this, sapphire and bronze. You have this sheet. I would like you to be able to follow along with where I was and then continue on for the rest Looking at the language that's used, think about how he would feel. What do some of these words mean to refer to his uh, emotions? Silver, very similar here. And then also, I would like you to think about why do you think Wint, uh, Flint is going to Winterfang Palace if it makes him so scared? So I'd like you to build on this using the prediction part of our inference. Why? Why do you think this is so important to him? And gold here. I'd like you to continue with the chart and think about Esker and Flint. So we've looked at Esker, looking at Flint. Do you think Esker and Flint feel the same way? And what do you think could happen to them both? So again, we're looking at prediction here. In the last few minutes, five minutes or so of the, the reading session, I'd like you to think, if you were in Flint's situation, what would you do and how would you achieve this? So thank you very much, Year 4. You've got this. Stay safe and we'll speak again soon. Bye.